Thank you for tuning into another reaction video. Today we're going to do a yo yo eight on eight. <laughs> hey, you know what's weird? I remember somebody who first seen me. If you guys really thought I'd talk like that, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see somebody who I just met for the first time. And it's like, hello, my name is Hassan Ori. You cannot tell me, say, oh, you don't actually tell me. How can you say I don't talk like that? My father is Chinese! <laughs> But you know, I, I'm gonna do that just, just to mess with people. But yeah, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we're here back with another reaction video. So we're gonna be reacting to um, Yo Yo 808 breaking into my school at night for test answers. That's a little much. That's a lot. That's a lot of what you did. You know what I mean? What I used to do was allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Well, the teachers ain't in the break in the, in the class no more because all they do is you. My physics teacher, he was terrible at it. All he does is leave the answers on the, on, on, the, on the desk and what? Expect me not to take pictures of the people? Anyhow, that's what I used to do. But anyhow, if you guys are new to the channel, man, we always rock that life game, whatever. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Please, help your boy get to a thousand subscribers at least. You know what I mean? Come on, we on that road. All right, but that being said, let's get into the video. This is probably the first video yo yo drop in what? Over a month. But I follow my Instagram so I actually understand why. My teacher's desk so holding someone else's graded state final exam. If I get caught, there is literally no logical excuse I can make. It's over. I could get expelled. Yeah, you can say you even arrested for trespassing, honestly. And almost as if it was on cue before I could even put the test back. Yo, I really appreciate you guys a lot for supporting me, for real. Because I made a lot of hard decisions to get here, man. I spent years working more than 40 hours a week on videos. I disappointed my family when I went to college. I cut off friends, told some pretty personal stories to random people on the internet. Well, it was one but wrong in getting genie out of your plate. But it was all worth it because I'm fulfilling what I believe to be my life's purpose. <laughs> That's me! <laughs> I swear to God, I swear, y'all gonna think I'm bullshit. I swear to God, I did not knew he was gonna do that. I fucks with you, man. Making oh. people laugh of all the perks that come with being a YouTuber. This is oh the man, most important one. Come on, you get me feeling like I'm a little bitch now. You get me feeling all cuddly inside. Oh man, and the thing I wasn't gonna react to the video. Oh man, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh man, you can't like a little bit. It, it makes me feel really good, so I don't regret not one decision I made to get here. Well, well, except for one. Let me tell you about the time I broke multiple laws for the sake of pursuing my passion. This took place near the end of my senior year of high school. I was just getting into my channel around this time, so I was struggling with the workload of making videos and also being a student. What I'd do is I'd go to school, edit videos in the morning and during lunchtime, and then at the end of the day, I'd go home, set a one hour timer, and then cram all of the homework from that day within that hour, and then work on YouTube videos up until around 3 a.m. Then I'd wake up at 7 a.m. and do it all over again. I was managing it, but it definitely was not pretty. Because my grades plummeted. I was barely, Ooh. barely passing my classes, but I valued YouTube over school, so I mean, that was good enough for me. Fast forward to the end of the school year and we had to take exams. Exams that I could not afford to avail because of the state of my grades. And of all the tests that I would be taking, the one that scared me the most was my calculus exam. Because numbers, Numbers are exact. With other classes, you can finesse your way out of wrong answers Fast. because the topics are vague. For example, what is the last step of the water cycle? Precipitation or rain? Christopher Same Columbus day. sailed the ocean blue or committed mass genocide? What is the hidden meaning behind to kill a mockingbird? I never understood that. Nobody fucking <laughs> You see? I, I never understood that. Answers. You can't really do that with numbers, bro. Like, two plus two is four. Nigga, if you don't Always. know that, you're getting the question wrong. And we were so deep in the pre cal that the math tests look like English tests, okay? I still do math on my fingers. I am not catching up. So well, actually, yo-yo, fun fact. 
I've learned it'll, it'll it's not even needed no more after out of school now how to finesse numbers. You could finesse it a little bit, like let me say like let me say how much you could finesse it. This much. You can't finesse it like how you could do all the other shit, but you only can finesse it this much, like literally this much. If you finesse it this round, like this much, that shit wrong. That is wrong. Out of that all that shit wrong after that. At my soul. But I still mainly focused on pursuing YouTube because that was what I wanted to do with my life. So I think to myself, yeah, I'll just wing it. Yeah, the test probably isn't even that long anyway. I'll have a calculator. Like, the answer should not be that hard to figure out, honestly. You're right. Even if I fail, I mean, it won't bring my grade down that much. So I keep animating and schooling until one day I'm in class and the bell rings. But before I get the chance to leave, my teacher, who I'll name Mrs. B, calls me up and says, yo, yo. Are you ready for the exam tomorrow? Ready for the- I hope you do not plan on winging it. Wait, I test is five pages long. Five pages? You had a math? have a calculator. If you do not know the- I got a question. It's from the sounds of it, sound like his math teacher is, um, African. My mother's African too. So my African teacher used to be like, Music, are you going to prepare me? Are you prepared for my test? I was like, uh, don't say ah. Ah is not one of the questions that's going to be on the paper. I, mean, I can promise you that. So don't say ah. Oh, I don't know. See, you're going. You, you listen. I'm, I'm. Listen. This is what he used to call it—the Mac Bible. Once you pass all his classes, he give you the Mac Bible bullshit. Anyway, so he said, I give you. I, do you want? The, do you want this Mac Bible? I say it with your hands. Why? No. See, that's the problem. That's why you cannot get the Mac Bible. You, you see blank hand. Somebody who see Mac see a book. All right, Mr. Music, you will not be drafting in my test. Meaning, no looking over here, no looking over here. You're going to have to hit the head. You're going to have to have your head straight forward. If I catch you drafting in my class, I'm going to I'm going to put you in banishment. You're going to be out of my class for two weeks. The material, you, you won't find the answers. Like two plus two is four. Nigga, I get that, but quite frankly, if you do not pass, you will not be able to walk the stage. But listen, She's like that nigga in. So please take this filled out study guide. Go home and go over it. Good luck. She hands me the study guide, turns around, and the only thing I can think is, no one told me that we had an exam tomorrow. I am going to flunk out of high school if I don't pass a five-page state-issued calculus exam tomorrow. But instead of folding, I decided to tighten up my act and actually study. And study, I did. I was up till at least 4 a.m. going over the study guide. I had it down I go to sleep, wake up the next day, and I check. Oh, they give you a study guide? Test. I haven't put this much effort into studying, like, ever. So I sit at my desk with the study guide be a set up. Promise you. The test, pick up my pencil, None of that shouldn't be on there. And put that hole right back down. I did not know not one thing on this test, bro. Not one thing I studied was on the test. Nothing. What is it in this paper, bro? If F is a continuous function on the interval A, B, then D over DX, why am Lord. I learning this? Honestly, honestly, I vividly remember that it was at this point in my life that I realized <laughs> that I was not you too. College. This test was so confusing that I had an existential crisis. I think to myself, I, I, I kind of cheat. Like, I have to cheat. Trust me, I understand. Passes, but I had no way to cheat. Because this was an impromptu decision. I had no time to prepare. No drafting. I'm gonna freestyle cheat because that would do nothing but get me caught. And if I get caught, I'm definitely failing the test and not graduating. I, 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 I was stuck. I really had nothing to do. I start to panic and then. Okay, guys, class is over. Turn in your test in the back row. I look at the clock. I panic for two whole hours, yo. In an attempt wow. to save my high school career, I take hey, my test up to my teacher. You don't listen. You never see a two hours going by quicker once you have an exam. I to this day I don't understand where the hell two hours is go when you write an exam. Still don't. I could finish the test tomorrow, and since she knew my situation, she generously agrees. But I realized that this only bought me a little bit of time. Like the inevitable is gonna happen. But right as I put my test in the back, it hits me. I think of a master plan that would make me pass this test. Nice. So I'm in the back of the classroom, unfinished test in hand, with the weight of my entire four-year high school career on my shoulders. And I'm smiling because I know exactly 
what I have to do. So the plan is very simple. Whenever you take tests, Mrs. B stays after school to grade them. I know this because I also stayed in the building after school. Because at the time, I was actually new to this school. I moved from South Carolina to Texas in my senior year of high school. And when I moved, one of my U.S. history credits did not transfer. So I had to take an after school class to finish it. So the bell rings and all this Yo, stuff. I, I, I got a question for the U.S. people. Why is May High School so difficult for y'all? Since when you have credits in, in, in high school? Come on, man. That's terrible. That's, that's a lot of work, man. And you, listen, listen, let me show you something amazing about being in the Caribbean. You graduate high school at 17. That's average. Y'all y'all spent a whole extra year in college. Not in college. Might as well fucking call it college. In high school. To acquire the same academic we acquire, and the, the the merits and whatever, all that good shit, makes no sense. Either. Credit. In his class, I sit in the back of the class and stare out the door window, patiently doing the most, waiting for Mrs. B to finish grading. And a couple hours pass, and I hear exactly the sound that I was waiting for. I look out the window, and I see her walking away. Game time. So I raise my hand, ask to go to the bathroom, and I'm out. So I leave and head for Mrs. B's class. Luckily enough for me, her door wasn't locked. So I open the door to the dark classroom, and right before I enter, I stop and think, if I walk into this room, not only would I be betraying the trust of my social studies teacher, but also the trust of a teacher that gave me test answers and an extra day to take the test. But I'll also pass high school, so, you know, uh, walk in, don't get caught, whatever, go ahead. So I walk in and close the door behind me. I can't see anything, but I didn't want to alert anyone by turning on the light. This is a quick operation. All they had to do was grab one of the graded tests from the tray in the back, take a picture of it on my phone so I can use it on the test, and then dip. So I feel my way to the back of the class. I get there, I find yep. the tray, but then... That's what I did. I feel something. Something that wasn't here before. I soon realized that the chick is up. I'm, I'm done for. I turn around because the thing that I'm feeling is an empty test tray. The tests wow. weren't in the back of the class, which means now I have to actively look for the test, which is a problem because I don't want to risk getting caught, but I I'm in way too deep, so I have no choice but to keep going. So I turn on my phone flashlight and I search religiously. I'm going through her desk, file cabinets, everything. The whole time I'm doing this, I'm, I'm shaking, I'm breathing heavy, I'm paranoid. I, I was on edge, okay? I can't stress how much of a high stakes situation this was. I was breaking so many rules. But after searching, I finally find the test under some papers on Mrs. B's desk. Yo, yo, this is actually working. I take pictures of every sheet on that test, but now that I had the merchandise, I needed to escape, like, now. My anxiety is on 10 because it's like 8.30 p.m. at this point. I'm literally behind my teacher's desk holding someone else's graded state final exam. If I get caught, there is literally no logical excuse I can make. It's over. If you're not graduating, I could get expelled. Maybe even arrested wow. for trespassing, honestly. And almost as if it was on cue before I could even put the test back. No one it, is there. I, I look around and I realize the lights in the room must be like automatic with the sensor. And I guess it's delayed to save power. I, I never knew that because I was always in the classroom during the day filled with people. So the lights were always on. But I then realized Mrs. P's room is right in front of her parked car. And it's night. She could very obviously see the light turn on. I just got to get out of here now. I make a run for the door, but before I open it, I hear footsteps coming from the hall you know what footsteps i'm talking about heels nigga lie they say you lost last time in the class before if i walk out now they will see me i freeze out of fear the noise gets louder louder and louder the locked door unlocks the door swings open and then ah oh, fuck you oh, <laughs> oh man Oh man, you made me oh oh god yo yo <laughs> You made a nigga go oh man look yo let me let me walk through yo listen to me let me show you something Alright you got your pictures put that shit it tuck that shit in your pants my guy 
Just in case they want to search your pockets. You never know. You never know. So you're going to tuck it underneath your... your <coughs> Okay, you yeah, put it there, right? Don't worry. You, you don't care how you get no. Once you get up, once you get to get up. All right. So you tuck that shit deal. All right. So now you run in the back of the classroom, far from that desk, right? And you just looking under your shit, man. Come on, man. You're looking. You're looking. Oh, come on. Come on, man. You just like, man. What the? I, I said, like, so yo, yo, what is it? I said, man, yo, I lost my wallet and. I, I can't leave without that man. I have too much important information inside there. My address is on there. You know, some, some dumb shit like that. Say you lose your, you, you know what I mean? Or say you lost your house keys or something like that. You know what I mean? Say something like that. Like, I, 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 can't, I can't get in my house. My mother's not going to be home. My parents are working. I, I need to find my keys. And I can't disrupt them from their job. They don't know your parents. You know what I mean? Your typical black person, black parent would be working more lightly in the night. Depends. But anyhow. Right? She'd be like, man, yo, I, I, I gotta go home. I gotta, I gotta find it. And they'd be like, okay, we can help you look for it. That's how you get out of that. Dead. You know what I mean? Like, ah, oh. you know, let me check them. Like, oh, you check your book bag? Let me check my book bag one more time. One more time. Then you go in that book bag. Oh. It been here the whole time. You're welcome. Yeah, yo. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment. Down below, the original video will be down below in the, the, uh, the link below. So, oh. The original video will be down below if you guys want to see the, the reaction. Alright, wait. The original video will be down below if you guys want to see the original. Alright, with that being said, I know I'm getting sweaty, so that means time to go. With that being said, hope you guys have an awesome day, man. Be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours.